hey girlies welcome back to the channel so as you can see by that title i'm doing a transformation with this really bomb unit that i received from xrs beauty it's a curly unit and i'm going to be bleaching it giving it a little bleach bath and some highlights and everything to spice up this unit but if y'all don't know the tea about xrs beauty they have this clear lace some of you guys try to say it's HD lace, but I can see the huge difference between HD and clear lace. Honestly, they have this new lace out on the market that's basically a little bit better than HD. It's pretty much invisible. You can't get clocked with this and it looks super, super natural. And they have a clean inspired hairline so they go in and basically mimic a natural hairline and i actually had to go in and do a little extra plucking just to make it a little bit more natural for me but you know to each his own and i also had to bleach the knots just because i'm very anal about that so i just want you guys to know that i did go in and tweeze a little bit more and i also went in and bleached the knots but for the highlights Y'all already seen what I use. I use the Quick White Bleaching Powder and the 50 Volume Developer because I have zero patience. Y'all probably know that about me when I'm doing my hair. I just try to get straight to the point. So basically, you seen, if you haven't seen it, just rewind it a little bit. I just, you know, do kind of like a, I forgot what, they, what method they call this. I think it was like the tweeting method or some stitch method or whatever you take a section and then you skip a section and then you take another section and that's basically how i'm doing my highlights so i can just speed up the process so you'll see it right here i'm taking one section and then i'm dropping another section and then i'm picking up that second section but leaving a section in between if that makes sense just so it can be a little bit more um, just to get that just to get that highlight effect without all that extraness and I just use the foil just to help um, me lay the bleach on it and also the foil is just going to speed up the process and you know you leave the foil on there as long as you want pretty much until it gets to the color that you would like it to get to so I do this pretty much all over the head so it doesn't look too crazy because I have a video out that I only did a couple of pieces in the front and that's just the style that I was going for at that time but I wanted to make sure that the highlights were pretty prominent throughout the whole entire unit but nothing too excessive or crazy that I, you just feel like you can't really achieve the same look as me but I just wanted to make sure that it came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. So if you guys have a specific technique to get highlights use that sometimes i use my comb just to give me highlights sometimes i do it like this it just depends on what mood i'm in but i always have to use that foil girl and you have to make sure you are ready to just jam out listen to some music and get this done i probably had to use maybe like two different bowls of or two bowls of bleach just to achieve this whole entire look but then I also did a bleach bath on my hair. So the reason why I went with a bleach bath is because I was going for more of a like a warmer color. I didn't want it to be so dark and I didn't want to have to go in and bleach like put the bleach. I didn't want to have to go in and put the bleach directly on the hair. I wanted to give myself a bleach bath so I can monitor how high the hair lifts. And obviously I'm working with 50 volume developer. You might not want to work with 50 volume developer if you're going to give your hair a, a bleach bath because it's really unnecessary. But this is the only developer that I had on hand. So I was really monitoring how high this was lifting. But right here, I'm just washing out the bleach from the highlights and you're going to see how it looked. You can honestly achieve this color and be completely fine with it by doing just those steps right there. But like I said, I just wanted to amp it up and give myself a little bit more like warmer chestnut brown kind of color with the hair. And I'd also end up going darker today, but I didn't record that process. I just wanted it a little bit more warmer, but this is how it turned out after the bleach bath. I don't know where that footage went, y'all, but don't kill me. If y'all want to see how I did it, please let me know. Um, even after the bleach bath, I felt like the highlights kind of obviously, well, not kind of obviously, the highlights did get a little bit lighter. And what I wanted to do was just add a little bit of warm brown. And I believe I added a little bit of cinnamon hair dyes from the Kiss Hair Dye Collection. I added that into the bucket of water. I boiled some, I boiled some water 
and did the water method with those two colors and I got the color that I was looking for so that's basically what I did but like I said I ended up going darker after this day I had dyed this hair brown another company's hair brown and I had dipped this unit inside of that unit I mean inside of that water and it got a little bit more warmer from this day but the install process is so simple super easy got to be glue hairspray I used my comb to help me lay this lace down so it's not clockable at all I think it turned out so natural and you guys are going to see how nice this hair turned out at the end and I'm sure you've seen it in the beginning but guys I have zero freaking complaints if you are going to you know decide to bleach your hair make sure you have some silicone mix make sure you have a really deep conditioner because you just need to bring that moisture back into your hair because we lifted the hair quite a bit without going blonde but still it can still cause problems um, in the future if you don't take care of it right after you bleach your hair nothing went wrong with this so i just want you guys to know that but i'm just letting you know if you do decide to do the same look make sure you take care of your hair as much as you can before actually installing it and applying it on your head so what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding a little bit of conditioner, leaving conditioner into the hair and using a little bit of water just to mix that up in there. And I also added a little bit of my Fantasia serum or heating protectant spray. And that stuff right there is just going to add that shine to your hair so it can look really, really nice. And I decided to go for, with the side part and um, I just worked with my baby hairs try to make them as popping as I possibly could and I loved how this unit turned out guys I'm so obsessed with it it makes me so happy I really took my time with this and I love the results I feel like I definitely did the damn thing when it came to like plucking and making sure it was looking the way it needed to look and just look at the curl pattern the curl part the curl pattern is really really pretty I actually have a straight unit from XRS Beauty. I will link it in the description box below because I need you guys to see how that shit looks. Like, it looks so freaking fire. You don't even understand. Like, it's super, super natural, guys. And I was so excited to work with them again. And like I said before, this is a curly unit from them. It is pre-plucked, clean hairline, clear lace curly hair really bomb curly hair and you can't go wrong with this for the spring slash summertime if you are looking for a unit i definitely vouch for this company because a lot of ladies don't really know much about lace and if you don't know much about lace you might want to go with something that has a non-clockable lace and that's what xrs beauty is known for right now i'm really really excited about this company because i feel like they have been listening to all of us need all of our needs when it comes to what we're looking for in a wig we don't really want to have to do too much now i decided to do the most as you can see because i already knew that this hair was so freaking fire and i just wanted to up the you know look a little bit i didn't want it to be just regular black um hair so what i'm using on my baby hairs is a razor an eyebrow razor just to cut them and trim them to how i want them to be and then what i'm laying them with is eco styling gel hands down one of the best products to use for your edges if you are going on vacation or if you are going swimming you might want to add a little bit of holding mousse with this but i don't really like crunchy baby hairs and of course you could do like the little curly baby hair method the arrogante method if you would like to but for this look i just wanted to go with something just clean straight to the point easy and beginner friendly so everything that i use in this video will be oh let me tell you all about this before i get to the basics now right here this part is so crucial if you want that like slick laid back look but still like really popping i use a velvet scarf this is like a half scarf or like a headband scarf it really does work guys if you can get your ha hands on one of these definitely purchase it let it sit on your hair for maybe like 10 minutes before you take it off and then oh look at that that dent is perfect the baby hairs are popping they're laid and this is how you achieve that super flat baby hair look without it getting all bumped and lumped 
up at the top you just want to add that velvet scarf just to like lay it down so you don't have any lifting and you don't need any mousse or anything like that but like I said if you are going on vacation you might need a little extra hold so as you can see I toned down the highlights a little bit there's a lot of you know dimensions in this hair and that's exactly what I wanted um, it's flipped to one side so I didn't want all the highlights to be super bright I wanted to be different elements of um, highlights in my hair but I hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one XRS beauty will be linked in the description box below.